going from uh, $82,000 in student loan debt and $600 in my bank account to now doing a $651,000 month. And it's all possible if you follow a proven process. What's up guys, Andrew Cruzy here, founder and CEO of uh, Tribe of Buyers. Um, we're doing another live in the group. And today we're gonna be discussing the nine KPIs to monitor the health of your coaching business that you need to know and track to make the right decisions moving forward in terms of what you need to focus on in your business to move the needle forward. So we'd be talking about that a little bit later on here. And then right now, uh, we're going to be talking about how we did um, a little over $650,000 in revenue in our coaching business last month. I'll give you the whole rundown of that. And all along the way, if you guys, as always, have any questions, drop them down below. Let's turn this into a little ask me anything. Uh, and I'm just filled with an immense amount of gratitude right now. Uh, my stuff is coming from California uh, and showing up today in my new house in Boca Raton. So I'm stoked to have that stuff and just immense amount of gratitude for you guys being here in the group, uh, being part of the audience, being part of the family, and of course, all of our clients as well, just absolutely crushing it uh, and having a great time with them. And for you guys, let's see who's on the live right now before we hop into all that. Carrie already giving me the you guys. Carrie already giving me the like on the Facebook video. So thank you so much, Carrie. Jeremy, fantastic to see your face. Funny thing about Jeremy, he was in my first ever beta program. Uh, when I launched, uh, what was it, Agency Accelerator like three years ago. Very first dude, I think it was like 800 bucks at the time. So Jeremy, you are the reason where I'm at today. So thank you, brother. One of the first sales I ever made was with Jeremy. So good to see you, buddy. If you guys are here with me right now, hashtag live down below. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay down below. The more engagement we get, the more people we can reach more people we can help. But where I want to start is this journey, uh, going from uh, $82,000 in student loan debt and $600 in my bank account to now doing a $651,000 month. And it's all possible if you follow a proven process out there and you go all in on the process. So my first venture into entrepreneurship was actually a, uh, a online store, an e-com store. And I tried to figure out everything myself. And I checked out YouTube videos. I watched all the free webinars, all of that stuff. And I sold about $1,000 worth of product, uh, which was amazing, which was eye-opening, which was my first step. But it wasn't until I invested into a proven process, which for me was a course um, around growing an agency where I was actually able to take my first steps. After that, I invested into a $90,000 mastermind, which is absolutely ridiculous, brought me an amazing network um, and gave me a proven process to the next step. And that's what I've done all along the way. Uh, to get to the next step, investing into a proven process, building up my skill set and my network to get to the next level. So if you guys are with me, hashtag invest. If you are investing into yourself, investing into processes, investing into network, going all in on yourself and knowing what Warren Buffett says is your best investment. So if you guys know what is what is Warren Buffett say is the best investment, put it down below. And what's up, Effie, Bastion, good to see you. Jeremy, <laughs> much love, dude. Uh, ben, good to see you, dude. Thanks for the hashtag live. Put it down below. What is the best investment you can ever make? Put it down in the comments down below who's here with me. 
and we will hop into that. I know there's a little bit of lag here. Warren Buffett says the best investment you can ever make is into, yo, Jim, good to see you. One of the old GGMB members, Group Growth and Monetization Blueprint members. Good to see you, dude. And yes, yes, it is yourself. Best investment is into yourself. So what I want to talk about here is the $650,000 revenue month, which has majority has come from our seven-figure CEO backend program. So where I started was selling an $800 beta program just two and a half years ago. And that's where I love it. Jeremy is there. Um, that was the one that Jeremy invested in. I made $6,400 in one day and that blew my fucking mind because I was running an agency at the time and doing door to door sales to run Facebook ads for local businesses. And I built that up to the point where I developed a skill set to run Facebook ads for local businesses, learn the skill set of doing those sales. And then I, uh, people started asking me for a coaching program and because I was documenting it on my personal profile and in my Facebook groups, I started developing a following, right? And then people were asking me for the coaching program. I put one post up, made $6,400 in one day, and that totally blew my mind. I was like, holy shit, uh, coaching is a way to go. And um, it lit me up with coaching clients over the agency clients, but I continued running the agency so I could be valuable to my coaching clients. Um, and over the year, I phased it out, uh, the agency side out and started doing more coaching. So here we are today. Uh, we have two programs, Authority Accelerator and Seven Figure CEO. And that is what's contributed to the $650,000 month and one thing that people don't do with their organic marketing that they should do a lot more of is building in a cadence of conversion uh, uh, conversion events. So you can write this down. The conversion events that work really well for us are masterminds, three-day workshops, five-day challenges, um, and also paid masterclasses. Those are the four that we teach. And we are the best in the industry at teaching those four things. And what we see is when we do a regular cadence of conversion events, we get a lot more out of our organic because people are watching your posts, they are consuming your lives, and they're just waiting for that thing that will tip them over the fence, right? And that usually comes through a conversion event. You can still get the sales continuously by doing two-step posts, by doing comment for value posts, by uh, engaging in Messenger and building a team around that as well, engaging in Messenger, but you also need those conversion events every four to six weeks to ultimately move somebody on to the next step, to get that low-hanging, uh, the people that are on the fence, off the fence through a conversion event. And again, that's a three-day workshop, five-day challenge, um, a paid masterclass and masterminds. So in January, you're probably asking yourself, what did we do in January that works really, really well? Well, our client results are phenomenal inside of both our programs. And we had a mastermind coming up where we bring all of our clients for three days into a mastermind. And on the very first day, we have them invite their friends. So they get what's called a babo, a bring a business owner, where they can give a ticket, a free ticket to a friend for the first day. And the first day is all around where are you at currently? Where do you want to go? And a little piece of bridging the gap, right? And really over delivering with that piece of bridging the gap. So what we taught was our organic marketing method uh, to show them where they're at, where they want to go. They just need these steps of the organic marketing method to move them from wherever they were at 5K per month to 25K per month or being consistent with it and moving them from 10K per month to 100K per month. Because basically all of our stuff has been organic. Uh, we barely even tapped paid ads yet and have built a multi-million dollars uh, business through just organic methods, right? So if you're doing masterminds, they're phenomenal 
to bring your clients back each quarter, or some people do it three times per year, so every four months, get them to re-engage and recommit to the process that you're teaching and giving them an opportunity to inv invite a friend, just like a referral to day one. And it works fucking great. Um, so we had, uh, we had a, a little over a hundred people um, on day one of the mastermind. Uh, we had uh, 30 to 40 people that were invited from our clients and ultimately 13 people converted out of those people that were invited to the mastermind. Um, and we generated uh, a little over $300,000 uh, from just that one conversion event. And the rest came through our organic marketing, our regular outreaches and that sort of stuff. So that's the power of a conversion event, right? If you're not doing a conversion event, or some people call it a promo cycle, you're leaving a lot of money on the table because there are so many people in your audience just sitting on the fence waiting uh, for that call to action. They just need a little warm up before that call to action. So start doing conversion events. That's what really helped us uh, in the last, uh, last month to do $651,000 in revenue. So um, those masterminds, referrals. Uh, if you're not generating results for your clients, you're not going to be able to get referrals in mass. So I've went through so many times over the past three years, diving deep into our delivery and looking at what needs to be removed, what needs to be added, what team members do we need to add to get better client results. And it's like, I'm sure you guys have experienced this. You're, you're veteran coaches. You've gone through the ups and the downs. And there are times where you're like, oh, shit, my delivery, it, it was working really, really well three months. But either we got a lot more clients or some of the, the strategies have kind of died out a little bit. There's a period of time uh, where you need to focus on your delivery and accepting that Sales might suffer, marketing might suffer, conversions might suffer for a little bit, but there's so much invisible ROI in optimizing the delivery of your program that will pay dividends in the future. And we've gone through plenty of those uh, times over the past two to three years and gotten to a place right now, our delivery is locked the fuck in. So that's what contributes to a lot of our referrals. And referrals are 80% more likely to close than just a regular lead, than a regular cold lead. So more you can tap into delivery being optimized and getting referrals from clients, the more your business will grow. So if you don't have that system locked in, you need to lock it in, right? Um, so let's see if they're, Chad, good to see you, dude. Jeremy, phenomenal man, amazing results. Can't wait to see you 10X that as well. Thank you, buddy. So, when you're getting results like this, let me share. Here's the back end of our seven figure CEO Facebook group. Uh, ben Rosso started with us in Authority Accelerator. He was he was going through a bankruptcy in his business and ended up building up cash flow uh, from the organic methods that we teach. And he is just a savage, amazing hair, amazing dude, uh, and has built out an amazing program uh, and helps, um, helps people in repair shops build their business. And he's well on his way from bankers, bankruptcy uh, in mid last year to now building a multi six figure uh, business in about six to eight months here. Um, and has absolutely crush it on his way to a $40,000 a month. Um, and then Jen Rudolph, uh, she helps actors and actresses land more gigs. Uh, she needed help developing her team and she did that. And now things are running so smoothly. We actually did a client success interview and she's doing 125,000 since the start of the year, a little over $100,000 per month. Um, and this is just, I'm scrolling on uh, our uh, uh, Facebook group and Franco, crushing it with crypto, sharing stuff with Rob Quinn, having fun, uh, Bastion, 
uh, Bastion here started with us doing about 30, 40K per month, helped him with his initial core offer. He's regularly doing over $100,000 a month now. I'm not showing this to brag, I'm showing you what is possible when you follow a proven process. And uh, Bastion closed his first $20,000 deal with a dream client, which is awesome. Um, I mean, you follow a proven process like this, it works. It does great, great things. So my biggest recommendation, invest in yourself, follow a proven process, um, and uh, surround yourself with the right network. Ben, my man, Rockets, love you, buddy. It's been a pleasure coaching you, dude. Um, so if you guys have any questions along the way, drop them down below. I'm here to answer any and all of your questions. Uh, if you're getting out any value out of this so far, hashtag value. And uh, what I'd like to see before we hop into the KPIs, the nine KPIs to track, uh, to monitor the health of your coaching business, hashtag, or tell me what KPIs do you track in your coaching business? Let me know. Either one, two, or three, or four, or five. What are the main KPIs that you track in your coaching business? Pop it down below. If you have something for me, boom, boom, boom. Paul, good to see you. Marcio, good to see you. Lewis, my day one, bay one. Jeremy, value, love it, buddy. All right. So this is a tracker sheet that uh, we share with our clients. Um, so this is the, uh, these are the nine KPIs to track for the health of your coaching business. So uh, <clears throat> let's just go through them one by one. Uh, we have total cash collected, profit in your business, revenue, new revenue, new cash collected, and number of new clients. So these are the lagging indicators. So you've got, am I showing my screen by the way? I do that right? No, I'm not showing my screen, my bad. All right. Um, uh, volume per call, awesome Joshua. You and your team are doing awesome work. Don, great to see you, dude. All right. So there we go. Boom, boom, boom. So here we go. This is one of the tracking sheets that we share with our clients here. So um, we've got total cash collected. That is the main top line uh, KPI that I want to track right? I don't want to track revenue or new revenue that is just sales, right? I want to know the cash collected, the shit that is hitting my bank. Because um, even it, it doesn't matter until it hits your bank account. So that's the main thing that I'm looking at, total cash collected. I don't even call it, right? it's sales revenue and total cash collected are completely different things. So we call it total cash collected there. And then we have profit. That is the holy grail, the actual money that you're keeping at the end of each month, each quarter, each year, yada, 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 right? So it's just money that's going in minus money that's going out, that is your profit, right? And keep it simple. So here's one of our templates too for our clients, money going in, money going out, and the difference is profit. So this is money that's hitting your bank account, right? You wanna make sure that you know the money that's hitting your bank account and what is going out. Right. Um, so profit, then new revenue. So new revenue is uh, the sales revenue that's coming in. Right. So somebody signs a fifty thousand dollar contract or let's say to keep it simple, sixty thousand dollar contract and it's 12 months and they pay five thousand dollars down. Um, then it's five thousand cash collected, sixty thousand dollars in sales revenue, which are completely different things uh, because you want to see this new cash collected coming in, right? So new cash collected is that 5,000, new revenue is that 60,000, and that 5,000 rounds up to your total cash collected, right? And then number of new clients, right? So you want to see how many new clients are coming in. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in the calculator down below. So those are your lagging indicators, the outcome, right? 
you've got lagging indicators and you've got leading indicators. So your lagging indicators are the outcome and then your leading indicators are the activities that lead to the outcome, right? So the activities are a uh, number of new leads coming in, number of conversations started, uh, which will lead to number of booked calls and then number of book calls to new clients, right? Which will work up from there. So, um, so we got number of booked calls, uh, which is how many sales calls have you booked? Uh, number of conversations started, how many new conversations have you or your team started? Um, and then number of new leads, this comes down to how you track a lead as a lead. So are you tracking it as number of people in your Facebook group? Or is it mixed between number of people in your Facebook group and emails? Are you tracking a lead as uh, people who opt in for your workshop? It depends on what you consider a lead. You get to define what a lead is for your own business. So those are the eight of them. And one thing that you need to track as your business grows big time is churn rate. So as you grow, 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 there is going to be a churn to clients. Um, especially if you're running longer and longer programs. So how you create that is simply number of total clients um, divided by the number of drop-offs, and that will give you your churn rate, right? Um, and in, if you're above a 2% churn rate, that's an issue and something that needs to be fixed, especially in this coaching industry. I've seen way too many people with over 2% churn rate. So inside of our programs we've got trackers like the sales tracker which will give you the new revenue new clients new book calls and then the setter tracker which will track the number of conversations started all of that good stuff so then we just want to work backwards and we got a nice little calculator here so let's say we want to make three hundred thousand dollars in revenue and actually i want to see how are you guys doing take your shirt off pedro you are way too dirty for me bad boy uh, but thanks for being here. I love your face. Um, so cool. You guys are still with me. So price point, number of new clients total. So we want to look at what's our goal. So let's say our goal of revenue is $300,000 this month. So then we want to look at the price point of our offers, right? So let's say we have a $7,000, well, let's make it easy. Let's say a $5,000 offer and let's say a $50,000 offer, right? So if we have those, let's say we sell four of those per month, uh, and let's say we sell 20 of those per month, then we're at our goal of $300,000 in revenue. That means we need 24 clients. So let's work back from there. So what's our average show rate? So what's our average show rate? Let's say 80% of book that book a call show up to the call. And let's say we close 50%. So how many new book calls do we need for that month? We need 60. Cool. And then from there, we want to know how many conversations does it take uh, for us to get a new booked call? So let's say five, uh, five people book out of 100 people. So that would be 5%. So that means we need to start 100 or our team needs to start uh, uh, 1,200 conversations. So then we know if we start 1,200 conversations, we'll get 60 book calls and we'll get 24 new clients. And you can't do that until you start tracking your KPIs. So you need sheets like this. You need to track your KPIs like this um, to really know the data to work backwards to see uh, uh, to see how many conversations you need to start, which will book that many calls, which will bring you that many clients. So those are the KPIs. And I hope that was helpful. If you guys got any value out of this call, hashtag value down below or this call, this Facebook Live. Um, I don't see any questions here, so I'm gonna hop off. But if you guys want some extra value, if you're going all in on yourself this year, um, we have a free course called the Seven Figure CEO Vault um, that uh, that goes over KPI tracking, that goes over uh, that goes over our sales script, that goes over a whole bunch of things, uh, messaging, offer creation, all of that good stuff. If you want to get your hands on the Seven Figure CEO Vault, hashtag Vault down below. It's absolutely free, and we will shoot it over to you. And that's about it, guys.
Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this Monday night. I appreciate you loads, and I will talk to you guys later.